Singers are kind of up in arms nowadays asking, do we really need to ask permission to sing songs? Like, really? Every single song we sing? Anywhere? When is it okay to not ask for permission? And when is it necessary to seek a license? We're going to talk about that today. My name is Trina Bellamide, and I'd like to invite you all to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to get to know me a little better, you can check out my website. I am including links in the video and in the description below. When is it necessary to seek permission to sing a song? Now let's first talk about just live performance, just straight out singing a song anywhere. If it's a birthday party or an anniversary or a wedding where there are lots of people but it's really just friends and relatives, then it is considered a private event, in which case you do not need to seek a license or ask permission from the rights holders of the song. If it is a public event, there are still some cases where you do not need to seek permission. In the Philippines, I'm not so sure how it is in other territories, but in the Philippines, if you are singing for a religious or charitable institution, then you are also exempted from seeking permission or a license. I think in other territories, churches actually pay performance royalties, but over here in the Philippines, they don't. So if you are a choir singing at a mass, or if you are like a worship leader singing in a worship service, or if there is a fundraiser by a charitable institution, no need to ask permission, you can just sing your heart out. Now what about if you are a professional singer and you are singing at a gig in a bar or a club or at a concert? Do you need to ask permission to sing every song in your set list? Fortunately for you, the rights holders usually go after the main beneficiary of your singing there. In other words, it's usually the venue that needs to secure a license for public performance. Any establishment that publicly plays music as part of their business or to enhance their business must pay performance royalties. So all of these establishments are actually licensed by PROs, Performance Rights Organizations, or CMOs, Collective Management Organizations. In the Philippines, the PRO is PhilScap. That's the Filipino Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. So all the restaurants, bars, hotels, TV stations, radio stations, all these establishments pay an annual fee to Philscap or to the PRO of whatever country and that is how they are given public performance licenses. So if you sing in any of these licensed places then you don't have a problem. They are going to cover for you. If you are singing for a concert then it's the concert producer also that needs to secure a license. Now what if this concert producer or these establishments are not licensed? Well, it would probably be best for you to suggest to them to get a license, to avoid being sued, and so that the rights holders don't go after them, or worse, go after you. So that covers just live singing. Now what about recording? When you sing in any of these places, including the private ones or the ones for charitable uh, institutions and religious institutions, it's a different matter as soon as you make a recording of it, whether it's just an audio recording or a video recording. The point is, as soon as there is a recording, you have made a copy of that song and therefore that falls under the reproduction rights and mechanical rights of the rights holder. So any recording of any song requires a mechanical license. And if any of these songs are to be synchronized to visuals, then we're talking about a sync license. So as you can see, for most of the usages of any song, you really need to ask permission from the rights holder. It's usually the songwriter or the publisher. If the song that you want to do a cover version of is on Spotify, all you need to do is click on the song and when you see those three dots, click on that and just scroll down until you see song credits. Click on that and you will see who the songwriters are and possibly who the producer is. And you can just Google and 
find out more information on who the publisher is. In the United States and I think some other territories, they have what is called compulsory licensing, which means that you can actually do the cover version of any song that already has an existing version as long as you pay the necessary fees. So in this case, you can just go to the Harry Fox agency and submit like a request to do a cover and just go through the process and pay the necessary fees and your cover will be legal. Now here in the Philippines, if the song that you want to cover is a Filipino composition and it is published by one of our publishers here and if you're having a hard time finding out who the publisher is, well here's how I am going to help you. I've put together a list of some publishers and what you can do is send an email to each of them and ask if they control the rights to a certain song that you want to look for. I'm going to post a link below in the description so you can check that out. I'll also include what to write, what to say to the publisher, and just help you along with your inquiry. And that is it for today. I know you guys have many more questions. Please ask them in the comment section below. If you're a singer and if there's something that I haven't covered or if you're a music user or the owner of an establishment, go ahead and ask your questions below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos too. I'll see you another time. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.